we studied 7th standard english prose 1 the topic is eedga now we are today class we are going to study the second section in last class we saw first section what we have saw can you remember that the last class what is the name of the boy yes the name of the boy is hamid how old is hamid yes you are right he is only 4 years old he stayed with his granny because he lost his parents his father died due to cholera and his mother also died same year and the granny said that his father will bring a sack of silvers for hamid then his mother will bring lovely gifts from halla this you can remember yes you are very good and from this message the boy was very happy as happy as a log bird so next he went along with his friend where he went yes you are right he went the eid ga where muslims worship the eid festivals so now he went along with his friend muhammad maushi nuri and sami then finally they reached the village outskirts already said uh, outskirts means you know where the village has end and the tower area is started now and they saw big houses it shows the richness of people then they came across the stones of the sweet wonders it was decorated in bright colors now let us see the second section what happened the next now you can go through the textbook on the monitor you can see the textbook you can get the words from the textbook soon the roads began to get crowded some people are and twangas and ikas some in motor cars all wearing perfume all bursting with excitement the children were a calm and contented lot for village children everything in the town was wonderful whatever caught their eye they stood and gaped at it with wonder at last the eedga came into view they were row upon a row of worshippers as far as the eye could see newcomers aligned themselves behind the ones already there now we are going to see the explanation of this passage see now the soon the roads behind the, it was filled with lot of people some of them were on twanga twangas means it's a rekla cart with a roof above it has a closed and then somewhere on ekas ekas is also a cart it is also a cart drawn by single horse do you understand what is the difference between twangas and ekas it is closed to roof it has a closed roof and ekas is which has single horse now the people were applying for few they all filled with excitement the children were very calm and quiet and they are happy and satisfied to see the eedga place for village children everything in the town was wonderful they opened the mouth wide in surprise because they don't have that much of experience about the city life so they are openly they wide open their mouth in the surprise and at last they reach the place eedga as i already said eedga is a place a open air place enclosure outside the city for the eid festival they are formed in a line four foot line order in new comers will uh, get the next line see people uh, they are they are not rushing in the line they are not making the misuse of the line they are very perfectly arranged the line in a correct order now the prayer was over everybody were 
they are hugging each other and they are came down to the large number of stores shops where they people gather to buy a lot of new things sweets etc see how the people are going for example they have given here the people are large number of uh, in army the people move and attack in large number the opposite party like that the people large number of people are moving like a soldiers to buy the new things from the shops there was a merry go round it's a kind of round about with wooden horses wooden horse and seats they rides with the wooden elephant horse and camels for this merry round they should pay one paisa for 25 rounds the other boys were, were excited to play that merry round because they uh, we know that already they have enough money but the poor boy amit has only 3 paisas so he doesn't want to waste the money for this pitiable play so he decided not to play that merry round then the other boys muhammad mausin nuri and sami they all all are enjoyed that merry round and they came down next passage the prayer was over men embraced each other they descended on the sweet and toy vendors so stores like an army moving to attack there was a merry go round with wooden elephants horses and camels you paid one paisa and had 25 rounds of fun mohammad and mausin and nuri and other boys mounted the horses and camels see now the prayer is also over and the men embraced means embraced is hugging each other they are hugging each other they came down from the sweet star and they are attacking the uh, shops place like a army people army people usually attack the opposite team how the army people attack like the the people also attacks the shops like it's example they have given here how the people are moving to the shops now there was a merry round there was a merry round it is a kind of round about with wooden horses elephant and horses and for this merry round they have to pay one paisa they can play 25 rounds for this fun but our poor boy hamid has only 3 paisas so he decided that he don't want to play that merry round he don't want to waste the money for simple fun activity but all other boys have enough coins so they enjoyed the merry round happily and they played this merry go round hamid watched them from a distance all he had were three paisas he couldn't part with a third of the treasure for a few miserable rounds they were soon done with their rides then it was time for the toys there was a row of stalls on one side with all kinds of toys what are the toys soldiers and milkmaids kings and ministers water carriers and washer women and holy women see as i already said amit have only one paisa so he doesn't like to play that merry round he decided to watch that merry round but other boys are played and enjoyed and they came distance he watched from the distance then it was uh, next they were they moved they moved to the stalls where the kind of toys presented in the shops what are the toys soldiers and milkmaids one who sells the milk and king minister water carriers different type of water carriers and washerman one who wash the clothes and the holy man the holy pa priest like a priest sick people all the different toys are presented in the toy shops so now next is, uh, passage 
Mohammed bought a policeman in khaki with a red turban on his head and a gun on his shoulder. Mousin bought a water carrier while Nuri got a lawyer. Those toys caught two paisas each. Hamid had only three paisas. How could he buy such ex expensive toys? If they dropped out of his hand, they would be smashed to bits. If a drop of water fell on them, the color would run. But he looked at them hungrily and wished he could hold them in his hands for a just moment or two. After the toys, it was sweets. Someone bought sesame seed candy, others glob jamuns or halwa. They smacked their lips with relish. Only Hamid was left out. What is that? See, what, the bo uh, what Muhammad bought? Muhammad bought a policeman with a cocky uniform and he wore the red turban also on his head and gun on his shoulder. And Mohsin bought a water carrier while Nuri got the lawyer uh, toy. Now, what is the cost of this uh, toys? It is three paisas each. But here only Amit had, already I said, Amit had only three paisas, so he cannot buy that. He don't want to buy the toys. He want to buy some useful things. So he decided not to buy the toys. But all others bought different type of toys. So he looked them hungrily because already it's time to get your food. But he doesn't have, have food. So he feel hungry and then he is looking at them in a hungry feel. At least just a, just a moment he want to keep the toys in his hand. But he couldn't. Now next, after the toys, they went to sweet stall. There they have bought sesame seed. Already you know sesame, what is sesame? Then we can sesame balls, we can sesame sweets in the shops. You enjoyed, I hope. And some of them bought the gulab jamun and some of them halwa. All the when they got the sweet in the hand, they all took it very soon. Smack, it means open and close lips noisily to show enjoyment. When you are eating halwa or glob jamun, your favorite sweets, you may be smock your mouth because you will enjoy the sweet nicely. You will be uh, taste the sweet in a different. So that's why here the word has used smock. And then relish means enjoy and took pleasure in the taste. You will be get, your tongue will around your mouth, get the taste of the sweet like that they did. But only our poor boy Hamid was left. Now I am going to give the overall review for the second section. The people moved hurriedly to the place, Eidgah place. They all wear perfumes. They, uh, they use some of the transport like trunk cars, a cars and motor cars and then they applied nice sweet scent and then they went to the Eidgah place. They prayed to the God. All the people were arranged in a perfect order. If the latecomers comes, they are joined the last line of the prayer hall. They prayed. After that, they hugged each other and they shared their wishes to others and after that, they went to the, uh, they went like army people, like army people to attack the shops, to buy the things. After that, our poor Hamid want to play a merry-go-round, but he don't want to pay for that round. He need one paisa for that round, but he don't want to spend the money for that poor round. So he decided not to play that round. Then, other, all other boys enjoyed that round. He waited from that until they played. Next, they went to the uh, shops where the toys are kept. Different types of uh, toys we have saw there. See, Muhammad bought a policeman 
it was in khaki uniform with red turban and gun also on his shoulder and moushin bought a water carrier and nuri bought a lawyer they are but our puva hamid don't want to buy that don't want means he don't want to spend the money for that simple toys because if it is fell down it will be smashed it will broke violently so in sim lot of simple pieces if the water falls on it will it will be the color will be fat so he doesn't like to buy the toys next all the boys went to the sweet stall the all other boys bought a different kinds of sweets like a halwa jamun and sesame seed candies when the boys bought a sweets suddenly they tasted all the sweets the poor boy was only left out from other boys see once again i look at this uh, tongue cost means a rekla cart with a roof above a cost means a cart drawn by single horse and gape means stared to looking something very eager manner smacked broke violently next smacked open and close lips noisily to show enjoyment relished enjoyed or took pleasure in the taste see these are the glossary from the section 2 now i hope you understand this section 2 let us see the one marks from the section my dear children now we are going to find what are the toys presented in the textbook look at the first one who is she? he yes you are correct he is a soldier look at the next one who is she yes you are right she is a washer woman now look at the third one who is he yes you are right he is a holy man now fourth one look at this what is it it's a water carrier yes you are right now fifth one look at this picture yes you are right it's a policeman now last what is it yes you are right it's a king toy i hope you enjoy this lesson let us see the next section in next class